In this video, I'm going to show you how an investment of between four to eight thousand dollars could make you the next cryptocurrency millionaire. We're going to be looking at near protocol and showing you how just four to eight k invested today could get you that result. Now, it's important to realize I can already hear the Bitcoin maximalist screaming, "What are you talking about? Why are you investing in such crazy altcoins?" The reality is, many people watching this video have yet to build their initial bit of wealth here in crypto, and they're relying on crypto to try to make them that nest egg. And when you're doing so, you need to have a certain amount of allocations of carefully risk managed piece, albeit in higher risk higher reward, smaller market cap altcoins. And that's what this video is targeted for. For those who have their, a massive company or a huge investment fund who don't need to do anything but preserve their wealth, Bitcoin Ethereum is going to do that for you. But is Bitcoin Ethereum going to give you those crazy 1,000, 10,000 Xs? Not necessarily. And that is why sometimes small allocations in some of these altcoins can hugely pay off. Now, guys, don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as always. If you want to buy near protocol or any other altcoin for that matter, check out the links in the description to buy a bit or buy get they're the two platforms i personally use and they're offering some amazing bonuses check the links in the description now near protocol currently sitting at four dollars and one cents what i've gone ahead and done if you've not watched any of my videos in this series before i've gone ahead and targeted a bunch of different cases so i've got my base case target case, achievable case, stretch case, and a moon case. Now, why is this important? Well, again, my background in traditional finance, this is what we would always do, whether it's a VC fund, whether it's a hedge fund, all of these places will set these different target cases. And the reality is when you invest in a carefully crafted portfolio of 10 such altcoins, you're only hoping that a few of them hit your stretch or moon target. Do you think these, um, these venture capitalist firms expect all of the companies they invest in to become Facebook? No, but they expect a couple of them to do really well, which will cover off for some losses and many more. So what we're doing here is when we invest in these altcoins, we want to at least get the base case. Okay, we then want to work towards our target and some of them will hit achievable. Very few of them will hit stretch and even fewer will hit that moon where it just surprises you, does much better than your modeling and that covers some of the rest of your portfolio. Okay, so really important that we understand why do we look at it in that manner. So then what I've done, and you guys can go ahead and, and tweak this to what your beliefs are based on your levels of conviction, but I've gone ahead and put some target prices. And on the right-hand side, what I've done is I've just gone ahead and just put above my head there, which you can see the market caps of different projects, including the all-time high market cap. So we've got the current market cap here, and the second column on the right-hand side is the all-time high market cap. So Near Protocol is sitting at about $3 billion in market cap right now. It's had an all-time high of around $12 billion, roughly, whenever I pulled this together. Now. What I've said for the target case is as a target case, why can we not, why can we not work back towards close to our all-time high at $20, right? So $20 would give you a market cap of 15 here on Near Protocol. I would be very, very disappointed if Near Protocol could not work back to its all-time high. So that would be my first base target for Near Protocol. Then I want to look at my target case. And the target case says, can we get a hundred dollar near protocol? That would be a 20x from where we are now. Okay, a 20x from where we are now, which would bring you to this level at around 76 in market cap. A 76 billion dollar market cap on near protocol, to put that into perspective, is still smaller than what Cardano was at its all-time high. So Cardano at its all-time high, before Alonzo Smart Fork, before they had many much usage in smart contract platform, they still don't have too much in TVL, even though I'm invested in it, is still sitting at its highest was 95 billion in market cap. So again, for Near Protocol, with all the promise it has, and this video isn't meant to do be a technical, technical, sorry, a fundamental breakdown. I've done that in separate videos. Feel free to go watch those. But for Near Protocol, with all the amazing tech they've managed to develop, for them to not reach $76 billion, I'm sure if you ask their team, they would say that would be a huge letdown and they did not accomplish anywhere near the mission that them and their developers set out to achieve. So for me, I'm very comfortable saying a target case here is $76 billion. And for the layer one space, that is not a huge amount, guys. That is not a huge amount at all. We've seen Solana push through that. We've seen Binance Smart Chain. We've seen ADA. But yes, you do need to get into that upper echelon. Now, the argument is, is as the market goes forward, and this is what's important, as the market goes forward, as Bit Bitcoin goes through 
through new all-time highs. Because Bitcoin's already passed 1.2 trillion. If Bitcoin can work its way to 2 trillion, if Ethereum can become a 1 trillion market cap, which many people are saying is very, very possible with ETH 2.0, and once they pile on the sharding in 2023, then the whole new space means you can get a whole bunch of other layer one solutions comfortably around the 80 to 90 billion dollar market cap range. I mean, that would be low at that point if Ethereum is at 1 trillion, right? You're talking a much smaller amount of their market cap. So very comfortable with that target case there. Then you want to look at something which is a little bit more stretch and an achievable target, but things they will have to do really properly here. And that is to get to a $300 near protocol. And I'm not saying this is going to happen overnight, but a $300 near protocol would mean a market cap of $230 billion. Now we're getting to some serious numbers, okay? Now, why is that number important? Well, that is Ethereum's current market cap during a a crypto winter. So again, Ethereum at its all-time highs has been at about 560 billion in market cap. So what we're saying is if everything goes right, the space grows better, we're in a bull market, Ethereum is huge, Bitcoin is huge, mass adoption is coming into the market, could you argue a case or near protocol to get to Ethereum's previous bull run market cap low during their crypto winter, right? So you can make the case for this quite comfortably, but it's a lot of work to do from here. But that's a case you can make. Now we're getting into the bit more kind of loftier expectations. And these ones, I never personally would invest hoping for these two, right? I wouldn't, sorry, planning for these two. You could hope for them and maybe it will happen, but I would never make any investment. If I wasn't happy with my base and target case, these ones here, if I wasn't happy with my investment, I personally wouldn't start the investment on any of these coins. But these ones are ones which could happen. And if you invest in the right projects, which haven't proven that they can't hit these two, there's a chance that one or two out of your bag of 10, 15 in your portfolio can really go and hit these numbers, okay? So the stretch target I've put in here, and again, you guys can play around with this, but I'll tell you why I've used the numbers I've used, is $500. And $500 or there or thereabouts gives you a 380 odd market cap. Now this is important. This is still lower than Ethereum's previous market cap high. Okay. Now remember with, with near protocol, you can argue about the technology and how much better it is, how it's a new generation of layer one platform and how in many ways people can say it's better than Ethereum, but you still have to give credit to Ethereum in terms of the mass adoption. So again, play across this scenario. Bitcoin's running out at all time highs, pushing toward 2 trillion. Many people expect Ethereum to break through 10,000 and beyond, right? At that point, Ethereum as a layer one solution is beyond 1 million, 1 trillion in market cap. So for you to argue then that near protocol could not be 35 to 40% of Ethereum's market cap, that's what near protocol would have to go after in terms of market share. And a lot of people I know have even lofty ambitions for near protocol. They think it could be much better than Ethereum. They think it could be the best. But all I'm saying in this case, even for the stretch target, is I'm saying it doesn't even need to be the best. They just need to execute really well and ride the wave of all layer one solutions growing in the space, right? Because Bitcoin will grow, Ethereum will continue to grow, and then all you need to do is command a small corner of the market for those as an alternative to Ethereum. Similar to how Solana operates right now. It's an alternative to Ethereum, but still enough for them to command a big market cap portion of the layer one space. Now we're going to come on to the interesting one, which is the moon target. And you guys, you're going to, you're going to be shocked at how many of these coins you need to become a millionaire. It's not as much as you think, right? Now we're going to look at the moon option. And the moon option is how do we get to a $1,000 near protocol? And I will be the first to admit, these are now crazy price predictions, right? We're nowhere near this on near protocol. But again, this is the kind of modeling you want to do to remind yourself and actually put into numbers what it takes. Because loads of people are like, oh, I'm going to buy near protocol. I'm going to become a millionaire one day. I'm going to buy Phantom. I'm going to become a millionaire. What does that mean? How many do you need? Do this exercise and it will become real. You'll start to understand what it actually takes. So in order to get a thousand dollar near protocol, you would need a market cap of 770 billion. So now you're bigger than ETH. Okay. Now you're bigger than the all time high market cap on ETH by a factor of 50%. But again, you can make the argument if everything goes really well, huge mass adoption in crypto, everything going the right way, Ethereum growing, sharding, pop, very popular in terms of layer one solution. And then near protocol is the second. It outdoes Cardano, it outdoes Solano. If it outdoes Phantom and Avalanche and it's the cream of the crop, then you can argue quite comfortably for saying, okay, as a moonshot, maybe, just maybe, if they execute perfectly for the next three, four, five years, you could be getting to that market cap. I know it's a moonshot, but these are the kind of things that the team over at Near Protocol would have to believe of. If they don't believe they can do these kind of things, then what's the point of them being in business? These are the kind of targets they would have to be setting themselves.
Okay, so now let's get into the nitty gritty. How many coins do we need? Let's move this out of the way and let's take the base case scenario first. So for the base case scenario, in order to become a millionaire, you would need 49,000 near protocol coins today. In other words, you would need to invest close to $200,000 today for a 5X ROI. Now, I know a lot of you guys will not have 200K today, but there are some people who do, who maybe have this kind of funds available. And what we don't want to sniff at is the 5X, because in crypt, crypto is such a crazy space. And obviously, I have a lot of perspective on this because I spent a lot of time in traditional finance. If you show someone in traditional finance a 5X ROI, that is huge. They'll take that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? So this is huge. This is not to be sniffed at. And again, like I said, when I invest in these protocols, at the minimum, I want to be achieving these two cases, right? I want to be achieving these two cases here. So let's look at the target case, which again, to remind you, is a $100 near protocol or a $76 billion market cap on near protocol, still smaller than ADA and Solana's all-time high and quite far off Binance chains all time high. Okay. And again, we're saying this is in a future market when the market grows. That would mean you need 10,000 coins today, 10,000 near protocol coins today. And that would set you back $40,000 today. So $40,000 today, if near protocol can just work its way to $100, which is, like I said, still smaller than ADA's all time high, still smaller than Binance chains all time high, and Solana's you would have a 25x return on your investment and you would have a million dollars in crypto, okay? So again, amazing to see how that's... When you break it down like this, if I, a lot of people can go and find these funds, right? They can work extra shifts, they can save money, they can take on more clients. They, if you're a trader, you can trade a little bit and siphon 40 grand of profits into some of your favorite altcoins, right? It starts to become real. It starts to become really, really tangible. And now this is the one I really like because on the scale of risk to reward, this is this is low risk, right? Low reward, right? These are high risk, high reward. So you would never bet on these. But the one in the middle is almost that sweet spot. Because again, look how I argued it, right? A three hundred dollars, a three hundred dollar near protocol, two hundred thirty billion in market cap. I understand that sounds huge, but that's Ethereum's crypto winter market cap. Right? So you could argue, why not? If your tech's better, if you execute really well, why could you not hit those kind of targets? Obviously, you need a decent investment horizon in terms of a couple of years. They could go out and achieve that, right? Well, in order to get a million dollars, you need 3,333 near protocol tokens. That's going to set you back just $13,000 today. So again, $13,000 today invested would give you a 75 R, 75X ROI if it played out this achievable scenario. Really, really interesting. Now, let's move on to the stretch target. Stretch target is how do we get that $500 near protocol? $500 near protocol, you would need $2,000 2,000 coins, sorry, which would set you back just $8,000 in near protocol today, 125x. I don't think a lot of people who are new into investing, that is insane, 125x on your money, $8,000 to become a millionaire in near protocol. And then the mood one, which is of course just crazy, if, it, if a near protocol token hit $1,000, you would need obviously just 1,000 coins. That's going to just set you back today, $4,000. So $4,000 in this moon case could give you a 249x on your money. Hopefully, this gives you some perspective. This gives you some perspective how just a little bit of lump sum invested today at some of these prices even if you don't hit your stretch on moon case and give you some serious money. And then you go and do this same modeling exercise for a few of your other favorite altcoins, which I've done in a series. I'll put them in a playlist for you guys to watch through. And suddenly you have a really nice portfolio where you've put a little bit of lump sum in each of them. And now, even if they hit their base or target case, you'll be doing fine, right? I mean, if near protocol gives you a 5X, are you going to cry about it? No, right? If, if you put... If you put five grand in near protocol and it gave you the base for 5x ROI and you got 25k in near protocol, you're not out of the game, right? Then if you hit your target case as a 25x and you put a grand in it and it's now 25 grand, you're not going to cry. But then imagine you put four grand in and it hits the moon case and just one of your altcoins each cycle does that. That is how people are building their wealth in crypto. It's not because they go, oh, look, I know the one coin which is going to be the best coin in the world. No, they do so by building a safe relatively well risk managed portfolio and that's the key you only got to invest what you're willing to lose and you've got to do so in a smart approach where you diversify do you think the best venture capitalists in the world go oh no i knew facebook was going to be a multi-billion dollar company i knew uber was going to be a multi-billion dollar company no they invest in 10 15 20 potential ubers waiting for the next uber that's what they do 
right? So we need to learn that same thing from traditional finance and bring that into our investment strategies. Now, I'm going to give you a DCA modeling as well, because this is really, really interesting and will hopefully open your mind. So what we're going to do is we'll take this... Um, what we'll do is we'll take a base case of, let's say, between the base and target case, let's say near protocol, over the next 18 months, heads towards $35. And you can play around with this, I just, but it's a, I want to illustrate a certain point. So we're going to go from $4 to about $35 in the next 18 months. And I'm just going to assume for the simplicity of modeling, it does it in equal increments every week. So let's say we put $1,000 in the market every single week in near protocol. Now, again, it's irrelevant what the number is. Maybe you guys can afford $10. Maybe you can afford $10,000. It doesn't matter. I want to show you the principle behind this. Now, by the end of the 18 months, by the end of 72 weeks, you would have invested $73,000, right? A thousand every single week. Now you would own 5,000 near protocol tokens, and that would be worth at the new price, 181K. In other words, you would have 2.5X your money, just dollar cost averaging. So even if you didn't have the lump sum available, you still can get a fairly decent reward, which is not to be sniffed at, right? Now, here's what gets interesting. What gets even more interesting is what if we front load our purchases? And this is the power of cash flow. You hear a lot of wealthy people, including many mentors I've had in the past, say you need to have cash flow. There's no good you guys having loads of cash available in a bull market when everything's expensive, when Bitcoin's at 69,000. But then when Bitcoin is at 17,000, you have no money left, right? That's the power of cash flow. And rich people do it time and time again. Suddenly, when the recession comes about, or a crypto winter in our case, Suddenly, the rich people come out with all this money that they've been sat on waiting for the bargains, right? Waiting for the bargains. And look what happens here. So all I've done here was say, okay, imagine for the next 24 weeks, okay? So for the next six months, I double the amount I DCA. So we were DCAing 1,000 in the first scenario. Let's say I, I put it at 2,000 a week. But then still, for the next year, for the next year, I, I halve it. Okay, so I'm only doubling it for the first six months. But then for the next year of the 18 months, I halve it to 500. What's the difference? Well, we still invest 74,000, right? Similar to what we had, 73 in that case, 74 in this case. But now I own 7,000 near protocol tokens and they're now worth a quarter of a million bucks. That's a 3.44 investment on your money. So hopefully what this illustrates is when you have a crypto winter, when you have these moments when prices are suppressed, it's better to do your lump sum than it is to wait. Because the reality is we, the, the chance that we had any lower from here compared to going higher, it's far more skewed to us going higher, right? And returning to all-time highs. And like I showed you on Near Protocol, returning back to all-time highs comfortably gives you a 5X on your investment. So there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was, hopefully it was insightful. If you want me to do the same breakdown for any other altcoins, let me know in the comments. The ones which comes up the most, I will be sure to roll out a video for you guys. If you appreciate this type of content, smash up the likes. Don't forget to subscribe. Go watch this video where I do the exact same thing for Polygon Matic. And I'll see you in the next one.